tuned to like 10, so we got a late, late start today. I'm heading to the Tate Modern Museum. I'm not sure where it is, but I know the general area. So I'm just kind of walking around. I'm on London Bridge right now. Uh, just looking at the area. And um, I, don't, I don't consider this lost because I'm sightseeing at the same time. So um, I'm pretty sure I'm heading the wrong direction. I think it's over that way somewhere. But um, I'm just going this way so that I can cross a few bridges. and. Well, I just happened to run into Shakespeare's Globe Theater on the way, so that's a good surprise, so I'm gonna check it out. So I decided to take a tour and I'm really excited, so I'm just waiting now, and um, while you're waiting, there's like a bunch of cool stuff that you can look at and exhibits and stuff. And my tour starts in about 15 minutes, so I'm excited. I think this is where they put you if you were bad. Better watch out. Whoa. This is neat. It's really cool. I guess they're showing how the, uh, how the costumes were made. I was reading about how they made the clothes, and one of the things um, on the wall says that they used women's urine as a stain remover. So that's good to know, I guess. Not really at all. These costumes look really cool. I don't think that they would be very comfortable. I probably wouldn't want to wear them for a long time, or ever. But they look, they're so cool looking. I just think they'd be so heavy and itchy, but you'd look really cool. This is kind of creepy. So I'm in this like box room thing. And there's dialogue from plays playing from speakers, and it's just kind of odd. And you can choose what you want to listen to. But it's, I feel very strange in the area. Right So really the tour was more of just a talk about uh, Shakespeare and about the Globe Theatre and stuff like that. Um, the talk happens, you know, inside the actual theatre. Um, I don't think you can go in there without paying for a tour. So if you want to see it and you really like Shakespeare and you have an appreciation for it, then I do recommend it. Otherwise, I would say uh, spend your money somewhere else. I can see how people who appreciate all that kind of stuff would really like it, but I can also see how some people would be disappointed in it. Well, that was fun. I actually really enjoyed it. I think from now on I'm going to stick to taking tours of places that I go as opposed to just walking around and doing the audio tour or something. I think I appreciated it a lot more and I, I really just enjoyed myself a lot more. Is that a body? And there's the Tate Modern, which I was originally looking for in the first place. But I think I'm just going to head back to my hostel. I'm cold and I'm tired. I'm not going to have another night like last night. Um, I feel like I kind of ruined my day today, starting late, and I haven't really felt that well. So I'm going to head back to the hostel and rest a little bit. And then hopefully my last two days I'll be able to fit everything else in that I haven't been able to do yet. what exit to get off at. It's kind of creepy, right? So I'm assuming I'm trying to get to the tube station. So from what that map said, I just need to keep walking down here until I exit two. And then, I don't know, that just seems so cool to me. There's like, I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know why I'm excited about the pedestrian subway. I guess it's just because I've never seen it before. I'm going to meet Kendra. She's been at the uh, National Gallery all day. She's an art history major. I may have already said that. But uh, so she, she can spend like six or seven hours at a museum. I mean, this really looks like something straight out of a video game or a movie or maybe like a place where you could play paintball or laser tag. Oh wait, now I'm thinking that it's closed. That's why I can't find it. There she is. I'm a little bit late. It's a little crowded in here. I don't know. Hobo. Please mind the gap between the train and the platform. And I won't have change anymore. or the central line. So I've kind of let myself get out of control with all my stuff. Um, it's pretty much spread around everywhere. My bunk is the top one, and it did look a lot worse. Um, I just wanted to show you guys that I've been a slob, a huge slob. Um, and I, I'm normally not that big of a slob at home, 
but uh, I do like to have all my stuff spread out, that's for sure. Sorry there wasn't that much footage um, for this day. I was really, really hungover, and I really didn't feel like doing much. But I hope you enjoyed this video anyways. Um, I know I tend to get lost a lot, and I also tend to be amused by the simplest little things, but I don't know. It was fun for me. It was fun, so I just wanted to kind of show you guys my whole experience, and I, and I really hope you like it. Um, one of my regrets is not filming uh, more of the things we did at nighttime. When it got time to have dinner and go out for a few drinks, I was like so exhausted already, and I didn't think you guys would be interested in that. But now that I'm home, I'm like, well, even if they're not interested in that, I'm interested in that. Like, I kind of, I wish I had taken uh, more footage of that. So on my next trip, I will definitely stress filming um, other things than just sightseeing. I think that'll be good. Oh, and okay, last thing I promise. Uh, where do you guys think I should go next? I'm already wanting to travel again. Maybe sometime at the end of this month or next month or maybe early January. Just sometime soon. Um, where should I go next? Where would you guys like to see me go? Where would I enjoy going? Anything. But not anywhere where you think I would die. That would, that would be bad.